Right, Richard, so let's go there now. You can see Steph Curry and the Warriors. They're hosting the Mavericks. Let's jump ahead to the third quarter. Warriors up 18 here. Steph had his three blocked. Gets it back. And he's gone. He knows. He likes looking at it. He's enjoying it. Look at that. They're just crushing. They're cruising. There's nothing else going on. Well, until the fourth quarter. Really. Uh oh. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just break it out to you. You will not see another Warrior highlight. Why? Because there were no Warrior highlights. This was all Dallas, all fourth quarter. It was so impressive just to watch this team continue to battle. They know it's Luca's birthday party. They know that they want to go out. They want to have a good time. And the only way to do that is if you can pull out a win and it was just impressive doing his little patented one legged step back over step. I'm sorry even a bigger player that would be hard for them to guard but this team was just locked in watch this up by three minute and a half to go and then Dimwitty what a pickup for them Spencer Dimwitty the do it all guard 26 to 1 26 to 1 like they were playing the Lakers fourth, and they end up winning by six points Ooh. really I mean an incredible performance all around from Luka Doncic in the maps. It looked like they were dead in the water early on. And then all of a sudden, they come out and have a performance like this. Take a listen to these folks after the game. It should be the whole team doing interview, man. It's just unbelievable team win, you know. Uh, I was struggling. I started bad, everything. And they helped me up, you know. Without them, you know, without this team, we would be lose by 40 probably. So I appreciate them, and they just kept me in the game. It's a good lesson for us. We've got to got to understand the NBA games turn on a dime. I mean, it happens quickly and you got to be able to withstand that. So we've got to do a better job of uh, executing under pressure and, and maintaining confidence. All right, so this is the first for the Warriors. They haven't lost a regular season game like this where they led by 21 plus since November of 2007. So the Warriors, though, they're still second in the West, a game and a half ahead of Perks Memphis Grizzlies. So, Ramona, we all know that Luka is a problem for everyone, but yeah. now he's getting some help with Spencer Dinwiddie. He had 24 points on 31 minutes off of the bench. So what's been his impact since joining the Mavs? Well, this is the perfect role for him, right? I mean, he doesn't, you know, you call him a point guard, but he's really more of a scoring guard and mm. playing next to Luka where you don't have to facilitate everything. He can just score. Coming off the bench, he played every minute of that fourth quarter. Okay, so this is, it's not always who starts the game, it's who closes the game. And for Spencer, this is exactly where they want to be using him. He, she's shown up really, really big in the last couple of games here, especially last night. You know, when they traded for him, it was seen as a extreme change of two two bad contracts yeah. with him and Porzingis but this actually has worked out a lot better for the Mavericks than expected. Look, look, I watched him in, in Brooklyn, and he was playing high-level yep. basketball. Like, this is a man that can average 17, 18 points a game, given the opportunities. And what I like about him is that he's not just like a catch-and-shoot scoring guard. He's yep. not just like a in transition. He can do it in a variety yep. of ways. He'll get to the free throw line. He'll knock down some threes. So it's not, I'm not saying that it's hard to stop him, but he can right. beat you in so many different ways that if you shut down the three, he'll clean it up on the other end. So I really like this addition to their team. I Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.